Today I'm going to be reviewing a pup above dog food. It's fresh dog food that's human grade and it's shipped directly to your door. I've already opened the box up and I want to show you a bit about it today. The first thing that you'll notice is that it is shipped frozen on dry ice. So this is something that you just need to be careful about to not touch it with bare hands. The next thing that you'll notice is this liner. This liner is completely recyclable, but it's thick and it keeps the dog food frozen until you come home that night and you're able to put it in the freezer. I have received four different types of dog food and I've already opened this one up and I already put it in the freezer, but this is Texas beef stew. Chicka Chicka Bow Wow, gently cooked chicken. Porky's Luau. And turkey. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what you can expect when you order a pup above. If you can see here, look at the ingredients. Turkey, turkey liver, tomatoes, carrots, green peas, rice, turmeric, or turmeric, depending on how you like to say it, thyme, parsley, and then a whole host of minerals and vitamins. You'll notice that they're 100% human grade. And as for the guaranteed analysis, look at the protein count, 14.31%. That I don't think that any other subscription service for dog food that I've ever come across has had that high of protein. And I think one of the other recipes has even higher, like a 16%. Um, you notice the feeding guidelines here, and I just want you to take a look at this. So they ship in one pound patties. Now our dog, teeny tiny little Max, he is about five, six pounds. So he's gonna only eat one quarter of a patty per day. So that's eight meals per patty. I just wanna point out this. They are approved by the AAFCO, but this is for adult maintenance. So puppies, sorry, you're gonna have to wait until you're a little older, but it is for adult maintenance. Let's look at here. They do recycle with TerraCycle, which is pretty cool. So I opened this up to show you a little bit about this. This is the frozen beef. So in this one, there's beef, beef, liver, tomatoes, green peas, carrots, russet potatoes, safflower oil, turmeric, thyme, parsley and then added vegetables, I'm sorry, added minerals and vitamins. This is the beef again. The crude protein is 16.31%. There's a few ways that a pup above sets themselves apart from other subscription dog food services. And the main thing that I notice is number one, for starters, they have so much more protein, about 72% more to be exact. Um, their meals average 11.48 grams per 100 kcals, whereas other dog food options average somewhere around seven grams per kcal. This added protein content is great for energetic, energetic and active dogs. The second thing I noticed was sustainability. A pup above takes sustainability more seriously than some of the other dog food brands by using ugly produce to reduce food waste and by supporting farms committed to regenerative agriculture. They also use TerraCycle, which recycles um, the food bags. The third thing that I noticed that makes them stand out is their use of the sous vide method. 
I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying that right, but it's a French word meaning vacuum sealed. Sous vide is a healthy cooking process in which fresh ingredients are vacuum sealed in a food safe bag, then slowly cooked at low temperature, 180 degrees Fahrenheit to lock in moisture and retain nutrients. So this way your dog gets fresh, flavorful food that is perfectly cooked and is super good for their body. And I just wanted to show you how they do this. I pulled this out of the freezer. I defrosted it in the fridge and I just wanted to let you see it a little bit. Now, the one thing that I do notice about this as opposed to some of the other fresh food um, companies that seal their food like this is just look at the moisture. I don't know if you can see that, but there is more moisture in here, more juices than some of the other ones that I've reviewed before. I would think that that would give it a lot more flavor and just make it all yummy for the dog. The last thing that I noticed about a pup above is their option to have a subscription service. The food is available for purchase with or without a subscription, which makes them a little bit unique from a lot of the other uh, fresh food dog companies. Most of the subscription services are flexible and we still recommend subscribing to capitalize on the discounts and ensure that you're always stocked up and your dog never runs out of food. With all this being said, there are a few things that I want to draw your attention to. They are more expensive than kibble. Like any fresh dog food brand, a pup above is significantly more expensive than your average commercial kibble. It is a premium product that provides your pup with high quality diet. The good news is a natural nutrient dense diet should help mitigate costly illnesses and vet expenses down the road. So you pay for it up front and you get the benefits later. It may not be ideal for large breeds. The food is priced competitively when it comes to small breeds, but it appears to be more expensive for larger dogs than other fresh food dog companies. Number three, one size fits all. A pup above does not recommend specific recipes or deliver specific calorie counts for your dog. Other brands customize their meals based on your dog's activity levels, weight, age, etc. However, they do help you measure the appropriate amount of food based on your dog's weight, as you saw on the side panel of the dog food bag. They're not always individually portioned for smaller dogs like mine. The servings are not individually portioned, specifically my five pound dog. Each patty will provide about four days worth of dog food. However, many other subscription brands don't individually portion their meals for small dogs either. And lastly, right now, as I record this, there are no treats or other products to add to your subscription. The last and most important thing is seeing if your dog likes it. This is one eighth of a patty. Now my dog, Max, is extremely picky and a little bit camera shy. Okay, buddy. So if he likes this, that's a win for me because he is very picky. This is the beef recipe that he's eating right now. And I think it is a win that he's tearing into this without even snipping too much. So there it is, a pup above. I think it's a great product. Try it out. Check out our review at thedogtail.com. Thanks guys.